Okay, I would like to show you how to find the standard error of the mean given the scenario, this problem. Or where are you going to find this problem? In any statistics book, you can find this problem, the chapter called probability and sample and the distribution of the sample mean. Okay, so if we read it for a population with a mean given and standard deviation is given, what is the standard error of the distribution when the sample size is also given? So these couple of things is given to us actually, as you clearly see, right? Okay, so we'd like to actually underline them. So this is the sample size. This is the sample size n, okay? And this is the standard deviation, and this is the mean, population mean. Well, and this is what question is asking here. Find the standard error. So what is the standard error? So sigma sub m, okay? Sample standard deviation approximate to population standard deviation. So is equal to standard deviation over square root of n well if we look into this right most probably everything is given here look at this here this population standard deviation is given sample is given sample size is given right all we do is just plug it in here so well standard deviation is 11 over square root of n in this case is 9 remember we have to be very careful with the sample size we don't want to mix up with sample size too the standard deviation okay this is a common mistake so this is standard deviation as you clearly see that's standard deviation right there okay and of course obviously the sample size is coming down here that's the sample size so all we do we just use our calculator or we do simplify it here any way you want to do okay so I'll, we can use any you know basic calculator is going to work actually here so i'm going to show you here how basic calculator so you can do here 11 out of 3 enter you see still fraction 3.67 approximately or some of you say 11 divided by 3 that would give you you don't have to worry about that so 3.66 so we clearly see standard error of the mean is approximately 3.67 so this is how we find standard error of the mean i hope you understand thank you